Steve still got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still yeah. got it. Yeah. Once a ballerina, or always, always a ballerina. ballerina. No, you- Welcome back to Fruit Chat. Today we are joined by two extremely special guests. And for those watching, I mean, you don't even have to guess who it is. Sophia and Chintia. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome you. to Fruit Chat. Thank Woo. you for having us. I wonder if people listening will just know your voices. Yes. Like if we hadn't Aww. said it, I bet they'd know. We did have a girl in prep once. This is like our favorite story. Yeah. It was years ago. And we were getting the Eurostar. This was like, yeah, this is our favorite story. <laughs> and she was like, I really recognize your voice. And it was when our podcast thumbnail was artwork, like drawings oh, of us. So yeah, it wasn't us. And she's like, I really recognize your voices. Like, why do I know your voices? And we were like, uh, I was like, we have a podcast. <laughs> and she was like, oh, wait, so who's who? And we were like, oh, oh my God, that's so And it was funny. so cool. We, we always remember that. Yeah, it was such a good oh, moment. That's so nice, because loads of people know you, obviously, from YouTube and, like, back in the day, yeah. like, watching you, so they know who you are. And but she was like, so yeah, nice. I did think that your voice belonged to you. And yeah, Aww. she was like, I did think I got it right. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, <laughs> wow, like, yeah, thank you. Well, it's so good to have you guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you. On the podcast. We feel very honoured. Oh no, don't be scared. We're all very well acquainted now. <laughs> yeah, we are, um, we are. For those who, I mean, they, they'll see it in the vlog because we obviously yeah. vlog oh, in yeah. Paris, but we were all together in Paris. Yes, we, we had the, such such a the week before. lovely yeah. time. It was so, so nice. nice. It was a nice Perfect little landing land. moment. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was, it was a nice pre-pod exactly. introduction Sh- schmooze. Exactly. That's exactly. a good word for it's a schmooze. Just we didn't have Daisy with us. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm excited you were there in spirit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you were there in spirit. But you guys have just moved studio, which is obviously huge for you. Tell us a bit about that. How did it all go? We're so so excited well we've been in our we've always dreamed of having like this has always been the dream well it's like imagine one day we have a nice crazy studio that's all pink and like yeah like it's like got rugs in it and sofas and it's like a little home away from home yeah so yeah we just outgrew our little cute studio which we did love yeah um it's a bit of a box yeah it only had the podcast that was the only purpose and we thought we need to spread our wings. Mm. Well, we just wanted a table, and we couldn't yeah. put a table in and there. We a kitchen. And we just wanted a fridge. fridge. We wanted, yeah. a, we wanted a, a full fridge. Yeah, and we wanted um, some rails, some storage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we needed storage because we just had boxes everywhere. Like and yeah. all those costumes. Yeah, oh, yeah. My God. I mean our costumes to them. exactly to keep all our memorabilia. Yeah, those yeah, Christmas yeah. trees and our prosthetics. You're yeah. handing those down to your kids. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Time. Hang them on the wall. Oh yeah. We said to our interior lady, we're like, yeah, we should do like a memorabilia wall. Yeah. You know. Years. Yeah, like so you we could get the Grinch, have. we could get the Cherubs. Yeah, the Cherubs. They were. We they have, they have hilarious. been my favorite. I think the Cherubs was our favorite. You just yeah. need to keep going. Keep yeah, get yeah, yeah, like yeah. you got to keep pushing the boundaries. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, yeah. We're trying. Yeah, yeah we're trying. Yeah. We're just trying to pick out the good holidays. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. we don't want to overdo it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're thinking. We're gonna have to. We're thinking. We're gonna have to wait till Halloween now. But you like Coachella because we wanted to talk about that anyway. Yeah, you could do like a like a Coachella vibe, but like a yes. We could do a festival vibe. Yeah, we could. A festival season. Be animals or something. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> jungle theme. Just like yeah, we just felt like being yeah. I'd love giraffes. to be a giraffe this week. Yeah, oh, I'd love, love to that. be a giraffe. Yeah, you should do like a roulette kind of thing where you just pick out of a hat or like yeah, the that's a good idea. Do you know like, what we should actually do a question box and just ask people? What should we dress Please, up we as? Don't. I mean, I think that's the a good answer. idea because that fills the months between all the other things. Because yes. what we're in you know April, May, fun? June, just July, August, September, October. That's six months without if we wait till Halloween. We could just be like giant fruit. Yeah, like wouldn't that be fun? fun? Peach. Yeah, that would be very fun. I'd enjoy or that. Or little cherries. We could be cherries. That'd be really cute. <gasps> Should be an emoji. Oh my god! Yes, yes. we could be an emoji. Oh my god! The aubergine. Why? Maybe the lemon. Yeah, cute, Lemon's nice cute. cute. Strawberry. Yeah. Um, but going back to Coachella, you guys were mm-hmm. saying you guys have been like four years in a row. Uh, uh, three. Three, three. I think. What's it actually like? Yeah, because we, we love it. We have it the best bit. time. We have the best time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Don't like, know what we, we feel a bit guilty because on like, the last pod we were like, is it over? The fashion's so yeah. dead. It's very twenty. I think it's one of those things it's where... It's what you make it, right? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it's got so much hype around it, there is a certain extent of like, well, it can't be that good. Mm. Like, it, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a music festival, but it's yeah. so cool. Like, it's always such a surreal experience yeah. for us. And it was always something growing up, we would see like Vanessa Hudgens and we like, It was when you see Kylie and Kendall yeah. there and they're like and we're like oh my god wow yeah. what is it like and we're like oh we have to go to Coachella one day so it's it's always a massive like it's such a surreal moment whenever we go we're like yeah. oh my god it's so cool it's, it's just, just like cool. we're living out our dream and we yeah, can't believe totally. we get to yeah. still yeah. go yeah. so yeah. until we have kids we're still going yeah Fair even enough. when we've got kids yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Would, if anything that would nice make my outfits change. look yeah. much better like the yeah. devil yeah, yeah. I do yeah. yeah some gorgeous belly chains on it yes. yeah yeah. 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 yeah some art yeah 
We and love it. What yeah. stage have you got to with outfits? Because last time we saw each other, you were very much stressed about it. We are we're, sorted. We're all, yeah, okay, we're, talk we're, we're can, you, can you give us a few? No. <laughs> we're, 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 we're going. <laughs> both, of us, both of us have got crochet vibe. Okay. Yes. Um, some metallic vibes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Um, you don't want to reel too much. Like you want to have the like the pics speak for themselves. But we want to get. Yeah. Them. I mean, I've got it's one. It might, it might actually <laughs> be arriving, right? So I'm having yeah. a bit of a shipping issue. One of issue. mine arrived, and I was like, that is not as it was. Doesn't cover the vision. Does it? It's not. It long was long a dress, enough. but it's arrived as a top. Yes. Uh, like, yeah. But so it's all about problem solving. Yeah. Exactly. So we're just problem solving, and it's fun. And then we've got to remember, this is just fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like we can just wear denim shorts. And we we'll can yeah. just wear denim shorts and a, and a white vest, and we'll yeah. have the best time. And you've got yeah. each other, so you can share, and you can exactly. Yeah. And, we'll and, and, and it's fun when we get all the accessories and we we like style it, yeah. and it's mm. like, oh no, you should do these earrings. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that yeah. does not look good. Oh no, them. no, definitely not the boots. <laughs> That's yeah. when we're then having the most fun. Then Mark's in. I was gonna oh, say no. you always go out yeah. like really Mark, out with your hair and makeup. Yeah, and he's a good, honest opinion to have around. Yeah, he is. He'll tell you if it doesn't look good. Yeah, because sometimes we could be soft on each other, but you know, he gives the tough love. He'll yeah, go, no. he does. He'll, He'll just say, it does it look? No, it does not. No. He goes, well, you're not wearing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> he says, well, that looks bloody awful. Yeah. So, okay, well, okay, brilliant. Pick what else mark. have you got? Or if Sophia goes, I think I'd like some beachy weight. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. That's not going to... Out of the comfort good. zone today. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good for us. Yeah, it's good for us. We yeah. need it. Well, Excellent. before we move on, let's go through the outfits. Oh yeah, we need what to run down. Yeah. Okay, fun. Ooh, Chins, take it away. Okay, I've gone classic. for... <laughs> I've gone for the classic pot attire for myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been wearing these Uggs for about... When did you give them me? She very kindly gave them. Valentine's oh. Day. Valentine's wow. Day. Wow, that's, very that's kind nice. of her. I've not took them off since. They are. Uh, really so they've been great. on for about three months straight. Classic. This classic. is just a grey sweat set. This is actually Kai. Got it on Selfridges. Official so review. Cool. Um, it's just like a standard uh, sweatshirt. Uh, <laughs> Gildan. <laughs> okay, it's it's Gildan. Yeah, it's Can I give it a feel? Gildan's fruit, the best. It's fruit, fruit of the loom. loom. <laughs> it lo feels lovely. I mean, it's lovely. It's, 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 yeah. it's, 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 has it got pockets? It has. It's oh, got zips nice. and it does have a drawstring here, which I, I do, do appreciate. Like it's like kind of straight. Like, there's no pockets. Really? Yeah, it's, I always do that. Yeah. Like, oh, not got oh, this is a zip because it's also oh, safe. Oh, nice. You okay. can put your phone Kindness. in it. And this is a little uh, little tea from uh, ASOS Design. Very nice. It says Monaco. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Love and it. that is all. Yeah. Very Delightful. Nice. Thank See, you. Yeah, you I am wearing, I bought this in Paris. Oh, yeah. This is a Kith little co -ord. Nice. This vest top forge. is from Sainsbury's. Love. Five pounds, hack. best vest tops. What a yeah. hack. Absolutely. And, oh, I'm wearing my aloe trainers that I wear every day. I need to stop wearing them. No, you don't. But they look they're good They're a classic. You. That aloe. It's just a white Sorry, trainer. They've see. got a I bit dirty, actually. They look like oh, cool. um, Air Force. It's kind just of, like a pair of Air Force, yeah. <laughs> And oh, I, is that aloe socks? Cool girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I was really in my samba phase. Mm. And then I got these and I was like, oh, I kind of like these. And they're, they're a bit chunkier. chunkier. Yeah. So now I'm a bit more like, and then we put the sambas back on. I'm like, oh, my feet look weird. Yeah. But I can mean like, Bowling shoes. That's so, <laughs> yeah, I'm back to these. I'm back to my alloys That's the now. problem when you wear the platform. I can't wear anything flatter than this. I feel mm. like a flat fronted freak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I love the Bally pumps. I think they're so yeah, cute. We like yeah, we I just, I I love them. Yeah, they're amazing. Because so for some really cute Bally pumps in, in Paris, Paris. And they I'm into it really now, cool. but mine have gotten holes in, so it was raining. Oh, I was yeah. like, my feet yeah. are going to be wet. I can't wear Oh, the mesh yeah. ones. Because we were talking about, do you do a sock? Do you not? But I feel like it's a no for the holy ones. Oh, they would look cute with socks, actually. I don't know if I can pull that off. You guys are cool in the oh, socks. Thanks. Yeah. So we, what you yeah. we have we've yeah, what you accidentally worn basically the same thing today. Love but it. I love that. Twin. We love to twin. This is a denim jacket, which I can't remember where it's from, but it was from Vestiaire, so it's second hand. Nice. nice. This is from Damps and Madder. I'm loving it. I, I love always love that. So cute. I actually but it's need very, like Ganny vibes. Very, very, I thought cute. it was. Yeah, yeah. No, Damps and Madder. And then these are Adenola nice. trousers and Zara flats. And we're going to Daisy's. So what I've is? got, this is a mint velvet leather jacket. So nice. Oh, my mum loves mint velvet. Yeah. That's my mum's favorite, favorite shop. shop. Really? It's all she shops at yeah. mint she velvet. She loves, loves mint velvet. Yeah. It's so good. Okay. Yeah. This is a, it says, too young for sushi, little Instagram brand t-shirt. Gorgeous. And then I've got my handover PJ yeah. pants on. I actually love these. I wear I these to death. I love those. And then my little cotton on ballet pants. Ballet you guys are so, so cool. Cute. You look so oh. cool. Twin wow, twin mint velvet. velvet. My mum, you, <laughs> she'll arrive and you'll go, what are you wearing? Full mint velvet. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to yeah. ask you guys a little bit. I think I feel like we couldn't have you here without asking a bit about like how you started. Obviously, we know we know the whole backstory. Right, oh, or dies, guys, we know the whole backstory. Dies. But for people who don't know you, or maybe have just started listening to you on the pod, mm -hmm. tell us a bit about how you met, how it all started, how it all took off. So <laughs> we have been best friends since primary school. We met. We have. 
at ballet. We used to do ballet together. What, jazz. in reception you met? Yeah. Reception. We met in reception, but then we also, so we had our own best friends at school, mm-hmm. but we went to ballet together outside of school where mm. we were like best That's friends That's where we connected. So it was sort of like we had a little thing outside of our school friends. So it was like, well, I'll see you later. Yeah, I was like, I'm seeing <laughs> yeah. you tonight at ballet, right? And I was like, yeah. yeah. Our mum will pick us Don't skive. Yeah. <laughs> Is your mum taking us or, or my yeah. mum? Yeah. yeah. My mum will do the drop off, your mum can do the pick yeah. up. Do you remember the outfits, like the uh, cardigans, the little yeah. Oh, we'd have yeah. the little skirts. But sometimes our teacher was like, no, no cardigans, cardigans, no skirts, oh take them gosh. off, we need to see your posture. Well, Ooh. like, we're in a church hall, it's bloody it's freezing bloody in here. Get like the heating on Dawn. Put the heating yeah. on. Dawn. Yeah, but we love Dawn. Yeah, yeah. we She's love Dawn. Do- she taught us everything we know. Everything we know. Yeah. Yeah. All the rhythm, yeah. all the steps. Yeah. She gave us discipline. She okay. did. Posture. Posture. Yeah. Yeah. Sophia's still got the flack. We've still got it. Still yeah. got it. Yeah. Once a ballerina, or always a ballerina. ballerina. No, you've always got it. You've always yeah, got the you technique. Got, got, it's the hands. You never mm. lose the hands. You never lose. What was the first <laughs> position? First position, second position. Oh yeah, you never yeah. lose it. The point shoes. You never lose the turnout. The, yeah. The arch. A fresh tutu. So that's Good where times. the friendship really yeah, so started. Yeah, so Bally was where the friendship, school. and then we went, so we had primary school, we went to secondary school together, and then we're like, we should start a blog. I think we should start a blog. So we really became like a duo yeah. in secondary school. Mm-hmm. Secondary school, we were like, we are so We aligned. honed in our best friend yeah. now. We're really on the same page yeah. here. And was everyone telling you, like, you two need to be on stage, like, you two need a blog? No. no. Were they telling you to Absolutely shut up? Absolutely not. No, no, no. no. We, kept, we kept it to ourselves, like, oh, wouldn't that be really fun if we did that? Wouldn't that be really fun? And then, you know, when you're like scared, yeah. because it's like, it's school judgment, judgment in school scary. and stuff. Yeah. But we finally went for the blog in sixth form and then once we left, we were like, let's spread our wings, let's go on YouTube, how fun. Yeah. And then we started we were, get we ready do, with this. We were this. doing like mute videos. Yeah, we were doing mute videos. Because we thought if we're mute, no one can take the piss because we're not saying anything. Yeah. But mute. so what were you doing? I never saw We were ready with us with music. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, it was I like outfit you. videos for the blog with music. With music. Um, <laughs> and then it Look was books. like, right, it's our prom get ready. Yeah. We're leaving school. We're never going to see these people ever let's again. Let's speak. Let's go for it. So we did it. <laughs> and uh, it Here was so are. fun and we had the best time yeah and we would just we had a gap year we so had a in, whole that, gap year. in that year we would just make videos and we did loads of get ready i mean mm-hmm. we had our jobs and we were just going out all the time yeah, so, it was so fun. we did so many get readies yeah and we just kept going and then we just kept going and then it eventually it was like oh we can leave our part-time jobs the balance sort of changed yeah. it was like we can do less hours this is making us busier and then eventually it was like we actually don't need these jobs yeah. and we can just do this so and is that when all the brands the started taking an interest yeah and, and it was like management it always got a bit like yeah. official it was like oh wow and then it was pod time and it was like, oh, you should pod. do a pod like, what's a podcast oh, oh yeah oh. yeah um but and how many like how long was it that you were posting and doing that on youtube before like you were like oh it's growing it's growing like i remember we were going to have a gap year mm-hmm. so our parents were like what are you doing yeah are you going to like i had the school yeah. calling my mum like she's oh, not fulfilling her potential oh. she's not applying for university yeah was uni on the cards or were you no. kind of like no we, my we, mum was never sorry you no 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 i was just saying we knew we weren't gonna go we we weren't, we weren't going, we weren't going. <laughs> yeah. but I, we were also like, we didn't have parents who pushed us to go and a yeah. lot of our friends did, mm. but my mum was more like, I'd rather you get a job and like get an apprenticeship yeah. than go to uni. I don't know, that mm. was just her thing. So I never really felt the uni pressure, but there is that thing of like, oh, maybe we should just go because it kind of fills the time. I don't know yeah. what else I'm going to do. Um, and it's fun and it's, it's social, fun, and social and you meet friends. And... But that was the biggest blessings about our jobs yeah. because yeah. we met people who yeah. were at uni we just had the uni experience yeah. through there yeah, without having to do the work and yeah go to and living yeah. in a we were really yeah, grateful exactly. <laughs> yeah we yeah. met really amazing people at our jobs yeah they were the best and they really i feel like they really shaped me as a person they were so refreshing that was like our first like friends that we made outside of school mm-hmm. and just to have people who were so nice and were so like oh my god this blog's amazing yeah like, not this, just this is amazing yeah your back. it was yeah. like so Aww. refreshing for us at the time we were like wow people are nice i know and they <laughs> and that was amazing so yeah we were we were making yeah. videos for, for that gap year yeah. then our mums and dads were like okay take this gap year let's mm-hmm. see, what, see happens. what happens yeah. and just and work then, on your jobs yeah by the end of the gap yes. year we had a hundred thousand subscribers so it was like, okay, we don't have to go to uni. Like my mum's let me take you seriously. Yeah. yeah. So that's the only like number mm. yeah, thing. I, I we remember. just remember that gap year. And then at the end of the gap year being like, oh, brilliant. We don't, we don't have to yeah. go to we uni. What, go. what do you think the secret sauce was? Like yeah, the, what the getting videos. drunk. So. We were just. <laughs> getting drunk and filming. <laughs> we, we, I mean, they were the best. Videos. Yeah. yeah, we, do that yeah. we were posting I like know. twice a week. Three times. Three times a week. Mm. And that is super consistent. It is. And we really were. We were just loving it though. And also like. 
all like we we just had that we had so much time on our yeah. hands. Like we were just like I just drive over to Chintzia's house. We just go. Should we go into town? We just, go, we just yeah. blah. Like it was all just go like to Sarah. Yeah, yeah. It was just really fun, and we had a massive social circle because Chintzia had her work friends. I have my work friends, so there was always just like things, things going, going on. somewhere on. to go out. Yeah, so. I guess as you've like gotten older as well, like has that like what's changed and what have you like really made sure you keep the same? Because I think we talk about this a lot with like yeah. you know the Olivia Neils and things. There's this whole thing on TikTok of like the hometown girly trope. Did you guys see that? No. Where it's basically this like idea. It's like the girl next door, you relate to them so much. And then yeah. one day they get so big that you can't anymore. And you guys oh, have never right, lost okay. that, which is obviously such a oh, good wow. thing to have. But like, what do you think has kept you like that? And that people still really obviously relate to you so much, even though I, you guys I are huge. Know. I think we're grateful for our <laughs> friendship because we yeah, have yeah, each other and like, that's not changed. Mm -hmm. that's so been like, the it's always mm. been the same chat. <laughs> like still talk about the same like shit. we just we'll have the same conversation 10 times yeah. Yeah. and forget we've had that combo yeah. and then every time like, we revisit you, uh, there's new details uh, yeah, and like, it gets dramatized every time yeah did I ever tell you about she's like yeah <laughs> oh no 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 you, you forgot can tell me again <laughs> yeah and we'll just have the same conversation yeah. so yeah. I think we're grateful to have each other in that because I think it's it's definitely more difficult when you're you're alone mm. on, yeah, like, when you're really YouTubing lonely. yeah and yeah. we're always because who was I speaking to today we're speaking to this lady today she was just saying how great Grateful we are to have each other to do so stuff true. with, and like even the Paris trip. Yeah. Like oh I would have been God. shitting myself. You were saying the whole time. I, know. I was like, guys, I'm staying yeah, with you. I don't know I'm, anyone. I would really <laughs> commend so nice that's the people yeah. who, because like she's my self safety blanket. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but also, like I wouldn't want to do this on my own. Yeah, like, that's like we. I remember when we were at school, it was like our lunch breaks. And we would always like plan what our <laughs> job was going to be, and we would like draw out these like shops, and we would draw out these like. Well, magazines. we were like, so what are we going to do? Because we have to do it together. Yeah, and it, the whole thing. Yeah. was like well we have to think of something to do together yeah. I don't know yeah. it'd be so yeah, different that's special. Yeah. yeah so we're really we're really grateful and lucky for yeah. that that's I again don't know if so we have Dawn to thank we're just going off <laughs> we have Dawn from Bali to thank shout out yeah. Dawn. shout out Dawn and, shout and Jeremy out Dawn and Jeremy Jeremy yeah, yeah. They, Jeremy. they were husband Dawn. and wife Dawn. oh Sweet. And your biggest sort of career pinch me moments? <gasps> Probably like tour. It's gotta be tour. going on tour, like the first yeah. live show, like that first live show, it was like yeah. pre COVID. We were shitting ourselves. We yeah. were. No, like. We were messaging that morning, like, we're not doing this ever again. Oh. Like, like, we, this is and horrible. We, I remember being just like crying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? I was like, this is too much. The pressure is, the, too the much. pressure is getting worse. <laughs> I cannot do this. <laughs> we don't want to. We do have it. to stand out there. We don't even know what we're going to say, and we're meant to entertain. This is impossible. We can't do this ever again. So, where was the first ever show? Nottingham. Nottingham. So your hometown and it probably sold out it like was that. like a, it was literally a one-off i think our management at the time they were trying they were like what do you how do you feel about live shows and we were like absolutely not that's so scary <laughs> yeah and then they were like well let's just do one and like see how it goes yeah. and then we yeah came we loosened off, up to the idea we you? came off the stage and they were like should we do a tour and we were on that high we were like <gasps> yeah because oh we gosh. had, because once we're out there, everyone's so lovely. Yeah. We relax and we have of the course. best time. Yeah. yeah, it's just the pre-show nerves. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Nerves. But well, I think sorry, now you've but got that gets so much better. That's so yeah. much. That's yeah, like we, we don't really have that anymore. Yeah, but that was definitely. I remember like almost crying when walking oh, out. Really? Yeah, like my crazy. knees were like. Yeah. I mean, from everything it's I've so seen surreal. of it, you guys are like naturals, and now oh, you're doing the so Royal Albert Hall. Three nights is it? That's crazy. Two, two in one day, matinee and the evening. I know, so scary. Yeah. Crazy. Do a leap is doing the Yeah, I know. Yeah. She is. I yeah. know, and we went to, to do a site visit, we and it was crazy. Cirque du Soleil. It was crazy. And we saw Cirque du Soleil, and they were doing acrobats, mm. floating around the yeah. place. It's a very special venue. It's, it's very, very special. special. We drove by it. We love history. Yeah. yeah. Right? We, whenever we drive by, we're always like, oh my God. Talking about friendship, I mean, obviously, yeah. like you've said, the friendship is the core thing of what you two do, but mm. what for advice for other people, young girls in their twenties, what's the like secret to keeping female friendships alive? Keep From a lot of the like dilemmas we get as well, mm -hmm. it's clear like, especially as you grow up and stuff, friendships do ebb and flow. Like we've been loving that phrase recently. Oh, yeah. Ebb and flow. It gives it gives <laughs> professional. It, it gives does. like it gives intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to give. Yeah. So and it's just knowing that okay, you're gonna go through phases like someone's gonna get a boyfriend and it yeah. might feel a bit distant and then yeah. they're gonna break up and then you're gonna blah blah sorry getting close. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm just, this is just the ebb and the flow yeah. Uh, yeah and it's like learning that and understanding it's like okay yeah. it's not gonna always be the same like it's not gonna be how it was when you were 16 and that's unfortunately. fine unfortunately yeah. and that's fine it's just you're growing up you're becoming individuals and getting your own life and yeah and it's just yeah. like 
Especially, but I think we've been really lucky because our lives have stayed so yes. close. Yes. Because we work together, we see yes. each other every day. <laughs> so, whereas if we had totally different jobs, yeah. like, you know, if I went to work at Topshop and you went to work or at Or if Boots, I had to move to Liverpool. Like, oh, yeah. we yeah. would oh, God, be God, like, yeah. oh, I haven't spoke to her. Like, I need to... It'd be a different like, kind of friendship. Yeah, and... we've just been really lucky that our lives have kept us so yeah. stuck together. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, li I agree with what Chintzia said. It's just like you can go through phases. I always find when I talk to my mum, she like gives perspective. Yeah. Cause she's got friends that she sees now. And I'll be like, oh, have you always been like, you see each other every week, like you've always been so close. And she'll be like, oh, if, you know, when we were in our twenties, you know, we drifted a bit. And like, mm. when you, when she's just saying that in passing, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. But then yeah. it's like, yeah, they didn't speak for a few years yeah. just cause life was yeah. happening, mm. but now they're back together. Mm. And people can be quite quick these days to be like, oh, I'm gonna cut them out. I'm gonna cut yeah. them out, I'm gonna cut them out. And it's mm. like, actually, like, unless they're like a horrible person, you yeah. need to, <laughs> like, it's okay to like drift and come back together. And I think we just don't have the perspective yet yeah. to mm. look back on and be like, oh, yeah. 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 And yeah. especially in your twenties, it's so hard. Yeah, like you make everyone's new, trying to... Especially when you get new jobs and go to yeah. uni and stuff. Mm. Like you're making new friends all the time and then kind of hang out with new people. And then it's like, oh, I need to reconnect with these people. And, mm. and what's that quote? It's like balancing it all. It's like not every friend has to be a friend for life. Yeah. Yes. Like you that's can just nice. have friends for a season. season. Oh, that's friends a season, for a reason. reason and a lifetime. Yes. Something like that. Just got it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. He nailed it. Nailed yeah. It. <laughs> Straight um, from Pinterest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's true though. It is. And it is true. And it's just have making peace with that. Treasuring yeah. Yeah. the friendships you have in the moment and quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. I think that all the time. I think yeah. a lot of people look, especially at uni, at like these huge yes. girl gangs. And I'm like, that's so great if that's your But it was reality. a thing, wasn't it? Where it, was, it was all it was about how pushed. many friends you had. I know, yeah. and I would so much rather have like two best friends or yeah. one best yeah. friend than have like a whole group of people. Yeah. That I yeah. 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 We say that all the time because you can't turn to all those 10 people no. for advice and you both famously went through some pretty big breakups online famously <laughs> yeah oh, famously my god Not stop yeah <laughs> um so how <laughs> did you tell the single files yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. was the time to be oh, alive yeah, yeah, it yeah. was so how did you transition that into feeling comfortable dating and things like that and going back into it like yes yeah like so with our main big breakups that we did the same time. <laughs> our famous breakups. Our, our famous <laughs> breakups. Yeah. Perfectly, um, by the way. We were looking that in was the perfect time. Yeah. It was perfect time. We were looking in the fact that it was us who wanted to end it. We both realized we outgrew the person. We didn't want to be with them anymore. Mm -hmm. And as ladies, as ladies, as ladies mm -hmm. we do, <laughs> we, we generally check out of the relationship beforehand because yeah. if we're the one contemplating it, like they're obsessed with us, of course they are. They want to be with us forever. Yeah. <laughs> but we emotionally check out. We emotionally yeah. check out. And before I think- Before we physically. Before we yeah. physically leave. So then yeah. when you physically leave, you're kind of like- You're over it. You've got Already, a new lease yeah. of life. You know, I went through this breakup eight months ago. <laughs> right, like I I'm knew- I'm feeling brilliant. I knew yeah. a year ago, you are not for me. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just about slow and steady wins the race. It's like mm -hmm. there's never any rush. Yeah. If you're feeling like you want to go on a date, I dived go for right it. back in though. Did you? I was, yeah. yeah. But if you feel like you need some more time, have take some time. Like yeah. there's no pressure on getting back into it. No. Um, I loved the dating apps. Yeah, dating. We loved but the dating apps. We it's great to dip your toe in. Yeah, like dating apps. You can just like if you've been in a long term relationship, they're so nice. Kind of ease your way back yeah. in because even just like messaging someone mm -hmm. being like hey <laughs> it's like a little like mm -hmm. it's a little bit like you just dip your toe in yeah. and it's nice to like build yeah. up your confidence i think yeah um and it's low commitment it's like i've not agreed to go on a date with yeah. you i'm just having a bit of just a flirt texting. of a text yeah. yeah i'm just getting getting back my in my game again. just checking yeah. i've still got it you know yeah. it's all it's, we like to go oh, we'll still got it still got it yeah <laughs> oh my god i love to oh, still got it well. What the what? Your bios yeah. on dating apps. What oh, we say? were we were hinged, so we had prompts. Uh, fine. Yes. My prompts were mine were think. atrocious. I can't even share. No, yours were cute. Were they? Mine was mm. something about pasta. Like, if you can make me pasta, then I like, yeah. yeah. Oh, classic. classic. And they'd always be like, oh, I can make you some pasta. Yeah. yeah. And I'd be like, oh, I feel <laughs> sick. I feel sick. Uh, so it's for good. So he's got a good one, way with words. I have. I only remember one, which was just a boring one, but it was like, we'll get along if. And it was like, you watch The Office. There we go. Okay. And that was Classic. always the one that seemed to be the conversation. Because people would be like, that but UK, UK or US? Yeah. UK or US? Just about to that say was that. what everyone would say. And I'd be like, well, we'll be original like, boys. Oh, US for me. Same. I, you know, I've never seen the UK one. I've seen a bit. I love the UK one, but I've binged the US. Same. I haven't I, binged the it's UK. It's like Gossip Girl. I will yeah. watch it again and again and again. It's yeah. just so good. The US one is better the deeper you get in. So 2024, what's yeah. to come? What, what anything exciting you're planning? I mean, obviously the podcast move was 
Yeah, the studio the movie. Tour. Yeah, the tour. The well, tour's our main. We're thing. just all about the tour. Yeah, yeah. tour, tour, tour. I'm like, oh my god, tour's tour. in five months. No, <laughs> we, we have some tour. big like planning brainstorm sessions. They are commencing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we have. I've, we've definitely got a, a vision of the stage. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's we've just about. Theme. We've got a theme. Okay. Obviously, space galactic mm -hmm. girls back from planet. Cool. Yeah. So we just need to transfer. The girls' bathroom planet onto the stage. Yeah. Yes, and we're very excited about that. We just want we would want to, we, we want, want it to be, be a, different. We want yeah. it to be a feast for the eyes. Yes, because we're aware that people and who've the seen the other shows are coming to this one, so it's like yeah. we need yeah. to give you something new. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can't give you this stuff you've already seen. Fresh mm. perspective. So, yes. That's, yeah. That, so, that's so our main that, thing. That's, cool. a, that's our whole exciting. Everything yeah. this year is revolving the around down the tour. to September, and we're so Ooh. excited. Mm. Okay, well we're gonna do the hot list now, which basically okay. is when we talk about the things that are trending okay, on fine. TikTok and in pop culture. Okay. Have you guys seen the whole Amy Winehouse slander? No. So you know they're they're doing the like biopic of Amy Winehouse. Are they? Oh my God, okay. So someone's like basically playing her, like the whole Elvis thing. Okay. 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 But it's gotten a lot of. Oh, it I just. Feel, it's gotten. I a feel lot like shit. they should have just left Amy alone. But no, no, no. Mm. I think there were so many people out there that could, like, Ray. She could have done it. Yeah, that's so really true. Well. Yes, she's amazing. Like, so Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga could have done it. Who's doing it then? I forget her name, but the teaser is just... It kind of looks like a parody. It, it looks does. Like, uh, it looks like an SNL yeah. skit. Yeah. To me. So, Lady and Gaga should have done and it. And she sung, she sung the vocals, which I also kind of think they should have just left it. Yes, Amy. well, Charlotte was saying to us earlier, apparently when she was signed on to do it, she didn't necessarily have to sing. And then they like worked on it and then she did sing. And it was a bit, it's a right. bit like, if I was like, do it, Amy Winehouse impression, it would be like that. It's nothing against her. I just think it's not really hitting it. But the funny thing is on TikTok, everyone's taking the piss and doing these like memes that like, this is why Austin Butler took two years to do the voice. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my it takes God. a lot. Because Austin did a great job. Did and great so job. did What's his name in Priscilla? What is his Jacob. name? Oh, Jacob. Lordy. He did a great job. I didn't watch Priscilla, but have you watched both? So good. Yeah, is I've watched both. I really Jacob. enjoyed it also. They're both very different. Like Priscilla's actually quite sad. Priscilla did was really sad. sad yeah, it was sad. That. You feel sad for her, but both films were really good. Yeah. But moving on from that, so the person who's directing just the Amy Winehouse yeah. thing is Sam Taylor Johnson, which is, you know, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Oh, I did see this. It was his <laughs> wife who produced the Amy. Yeah. And there's a, how oh, old yeah. are they? There's a weird, there's a he, very no, big age gap. So he was 18 when they got together this. and she was 42. Remember I told you about this? Do you remember? She keeps me up to date. So she was 42 yes. and he was 18 when they got married. Yes. Just a bit. He was fresh from bit. Angus Thong. Yeah. That's a large gap. It, it, it's a it was weird. He was gap. very young and she was a mature lady. What's the largest age gap you would date? How old or well, young my, would you go? My gonna... boyfriend's older than I am. He's five years older than me. I think that's the max. Yeah. Yeah, five or six. Five or six. I think yeah. 10 is a lot. But I think it's so yeah. bad as you get old, like as you get as into you your get 20s. Older. Yeah. But yeah. that seems to yeah. blur. Yeah. It depends how old you are. Because it's the whole Leo thing with 25 year olds. I just can't. Something I saw this week was the girls weekly schedule. So oh, I feel yeah. like you guys will be able to relate to okay. this. Okay. So Sunday is the everything shower. Oh yeah. yeah. And food prep. Okay. Sunday, yeah. yeah. Monday, no prep because the day is hard enough as it is. Yeah. 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 Monday is yeah. tough. Agreed. Tuesday, shave again, wash and clean bathroom. Oh, I don't know as early as that. But okay. Wednesday, top up food shop, clean the living room and the okay. bathroom again. Okay. 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 How many times do you clean the bathroom? Because yeah. I think I do it probably once a week. Thursday is the tan day. Mm. Ah, so supposedly, yeah, so it's I turn on Thursdays. Yeah. For Saturday. Friday, clean the house, anything you have left over, and then you're ready for the weekend, basically. Right. Basically, yes. we're cleaning all week. That's yeah, cleaning like all week. It's it's cleaning all on Thursday, Thursday basically. There's too yeah. much cleaning of the bathroom. There's a bit too much cleaning yeah. I only do it once a week. Yeah, same. Okay, and then by Friday, you align your schedules with the girls, have a girls' night, mm -hmm. but by Saturday, the tan's looking good. You yeah, yeah. The tan. Right, because it's developed. I don't yeah. tan, yeah, so it develops by then. Yeah, it's and marinated. Then you? it's marinated. You've washed off that first yeah, layer. Yeah, it's about washing it off. Yeah, it's and looking good. And then good. Sunday, you repeat. I do like that. I like that a lot. I feel like men really don't understand this. No, which is why as They a can't guy, relate, can they? No, you probably never shouldn't relate. ask a girl for a date on a Thursday night. Yeah, but that's the marinating tan. Yeah, yeah but Thursday's the new Friday, you guys. It is. Yeah, it's a Sexy night. Another thing I want to say is I've started open house. Oh, because what's that? Open, open house. That's a sex what it's experiment. <gasps> oh, I, I watched the oh, episode one last you? night. Oh, is that what it was called? Because yes. we did. Oh, what did we say? It was called the, the Great, Great Sex, sex Experiment. experiment. We're trying to show. Open house colon. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's what. But you were okay. talking about in Paris. Oh, it was amazing. So, that, I need so to for watch those this. not. So for those who haven't seen it, can you give it some context? You guys explain it because you explain it very well. It's on Channel Four. Yeah. Basically, sexually curious couples. Sexually curious. 
go in to live in this house, it's usually one person in the couple is fueling the experiment. So mm. let's say we're a couple. There we go. Okay. And I'm very happy with Chintzia. She's the love of my life. <laughs> I want to get married. <laughs> but she's thinking, you know, I think I'd like to explore. You know, I, I might want to introduce someone else into our sex yes. life. I kind of want to marry. Yeah. You know, How do you feel about that? Do you want to get involved? You can just watch. Yeah. You can get involved. How do you feel about me kissing someone else? Yeah. How many people do we want? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Like, would it be it one person? Could we, would we join with another couple? So they all go into this house to explore that. And it's incredible TV. It's it fascinating. Is. It's after the watershed. After, is a, I mean, we watch it at midnight. Midnight. <laughs> you know, you see things, you hear things. Yeah. I a lot of cameras. It was of darkness. Be that, like. Oh my God. Like that much. So after, after the watershed. Yes, heavy on after in. the watershed. Yes. They can't be playing that at nine o'clock. No, like, no, 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 no. Family no, time. No, no, it's no, It's like no, no. full sex on telly, which yeah. I didn't know was yeah. a thing. It's extreme. It's but extreme. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Episode, it's brilliant. Because I've only watched one. Mm. The couple, the guy, like bless him, he does not want to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's like, and yeah. it's yeah. just like what we saw. Yeah, and he's and he's super insecure, and I'm just like, how the hell? Like poor guy is being dragged. Was it the lady this? who wanted to 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 Stick get with the, with the, the, the other women and took yeah. them into oh, the bedroom? No, she was just really wanted to explore, and he didn't. Uh, and it was just like it's. And he would be like just sleeping in bed on his own, and she'd be like, okay, I'm going downstairs to explore. <gasps> she'd go down her lingerie and like yeah, explore. explore. Oh my god! Yeah. Do any of them really fuck it? Yeah. Well, the, like the one that you watched, yeah. it's really sad because she was like, "Yeah, he's really fit," and then his face just dropped. He's like, Aww. "He was like, you never said that. Can't do it. You never said that as passionately about me." I know, oh, really I can't. Sad. It's actually sad. It I can't. It's really sad. But then there's also like such positive bits. Like there was one yeah. I watched where this guy was like bi curious, and then via doing this, he kind yeah. of realized, "Oh, I am bi," and it's quite yeah. a nice oh, thing to it be is. like really comfortable and like. Yeah. That is a really nice I think they experiment. discover a lot about themselves. Yeah. yeah. And it's nice that there's an True expert test. in there as well. Yes. Because I think they can guide it, the yeah. way. We want to move on to some dilemmas. I think you guys have bought yes. some, haven't you? Yes. We have the inbox. Well, we, ha we have some I made earlier. What we like to play sometimes is dilemma roulette. So we okay. thought we'd just, we could scroll, you guys say stop, and okay, then cool. we okay, can. Fun. Exciting. So we're just going to, we'll go, zzz, 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 and you guys go and stop. And you go stop, and then we'll just okay. read whatever it lands on. Because they're all good. Okay. Ready? Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay, she's just put dilemma. dilemma. Okay. Hi girlies. This is coming from a really sad Helen. Oh, I feel oh. like I'm having a life crisis and I need your guys' help. So about two months ago, me and my long-term boyfriend of five years broke up. It was mutual and I'm so glad it happened. Okay, that's good. good. Okay. I'm glad it happened too. Fast forward to just under a month ago, I started seeing this guy who was in my friend group. Let's call him Brian. Nice. Exciting. Exciting. It was going well and we decided to make things exclusive. Mm, this did feel quite quick for me as I had been in a relationship since I was 17. I'm now 22. Anyway, I ended up sleeping with another guy and I have ruined everything. <gasps> okay, it's fine. It's okay. totally fine. This is very out of character for me, which has led me to believe I'm having some sort of crisis. Mm -hmm. I need to find myself and heal as a single girly. I think maybe I wasn't ready to get into something so soon. Yeah. But I should have just been honest and said that because now him and the rest of my friend group all hate me. Oh. oh. Don't say that. That's the trouble, isn't it? When it's in the in friendship. In the friendship. It's a lot of politics. politics. Oh, so God. I need your guys' advice on how I can make it up to him and get my friend back. And I also need advice on how to enjoy being a single girly and enjoy being alone because it's it's hard out here. Any advice on how to truly find myself and start healing properly would be greatly appreciated. Oh, okay. Oh, oh so we need to turn we this need some guy. Self forgiveness, I yeah. think. Yeah, like it's okay to make mistakes yeah. and it's okay to you know kind of fuck up sometimes. It's about acknowledging it and like and not doing it. And not doing it, it again. Yeah. So, but what's important here is we need to get the friends back. Yeah. So I think you got to be completely honest. I agree. And, yeah. And, and honesty is the best quality. And just say, look. What we had was real, and obviously we got to the exclusive yeah. stage. But I clearly wasn't ready. Wasn't yeah. ready. I, I rushed into it. I think also that feels and like I it panicked. was just a sex thing because also it's yeah. like you've been in a relationship for what, like four years? They say, mm. and five. then it's you just five years. She's wow. got so much exploration she yeah. needs to do. I think it was just like literally, it's like open house. It was just yeah. sex, and yeah. I think it was probably just a accidental thing I think where it was wrong was that you were exclusive but obviously yes. I think like you said you have to say sorry yeah, yeah. But, but the friend side of it it's not this isn't the end no I, I, I think, think you can this will you'll work this out yeah and I do feel like from like a friendship group perspective I'm trying to see it as if I was in that friendship group would I really like completely axe someone out just I know yeah. like people make that mistakes yeah 
And also, like, things always, like, blow over. Yeah. Like, yes. it might feel like it's all the talk at the moment. Because, yeah, it's a piece of gossip for the friendship yeah. group. Yeah. It's going to be going around saying, oh, my God, did you know this? Like, that's unfortunate. That's just going to happen. It does, yeah. But and it she- will blow over and something else will happen and it will move on. And maybe, like, you know, go to the closest person you have in that yeah. group and maybe try and get... I think it's about owning it and, and just and just being yeah, like not sorry. beating around the bush. Yeah. But like, yeah, I fucked up. Yeah. You know, obviously they all have done it. And they know like, the past. They know you've yeah. been with. Yeah, exactly. Parties. Like, I just got out of that relationship. I, you know, thought I was ready to commit to Brian, but I wasn't. Mm. I'm gonna sit him down. I'm gonna chat to him. I'm gonna. I want to get our friendship back to as much as a friendship as possible. Yeah. yeah. So that I can re-enter the group. It re-enter society. But maybe yeah. you guys can't yeah. exile me. Exile me. But maybe you really weren't ready. Like you thought you. Yeah, were. I yeah. think that's what it is. So. Okay, so also she said, how do I concentrate on just my mm. healing era? Yes. So it's just like filling your time with doing stuff that you love to do. So like, what is that? Is that like painting? Is that watching your going to the show, gym, watching cooking, your favorite show? Yeah. Getting your nails done. Getting your nails done, cooking, going to see Reading. family, friends. I actually realize I so relate to this now because when I was literally, I want to say 21 is when I broke up with the boyfriend yeah. I had from when I was like 16. Yeah. And that was again, friendship group. We yeah. are, we're we very are similar. I know. And then, but then it was a very similar thing of like, everyone felt bad for him in the friendship group. And mm. I was a bit like, oh, I'm really right. right. Yeah. Is and it because you broke guy. up with him? Sorry? Did you break up with it him? It was mutual, but I guess right. it maybe was more on my side. And it right. felt a bit like, oh, I've lost all these friends, which mm. I didn't. Because there's still, everyone takes, yeah. not takes a side, they but do, though. they do. Mm. Yes. So I think, that was a time for me where I was very much like, right, I'm focusing on me. Yeah. I need to just, like you said, yeah. find hobbies, do things. Yeah, it's just like what work. You need to, what I like. Yeah, it's like, like relearning what you what like you to like. do. And it can exactly. be hard. It's like, yeah. oh, I don't know if I actually, you know, what do I like to watch? Yeah. yeah. You know, because with him, I'd always watch Ozark. <laughs> 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 so on my own, what do I enjoy I watching? I watch Gossip Girl now. Ozark is amazing, by the way. I'm fully <laughs> enjoying it. Sometimes if you're single, people can get quite like, oh my God, but I don't know what's next. Like, when am I going to yeah. meet someone? And when am I going to do this? Because when you're in that long-term relationship, you can see, it's like, well, we're probably going to yeah. do this, we're going to do yeah. this. And then when you go back, it's like, oh my God, the unknown. Yeah. But it's like finding the excitement in that and not yeah. finding yeah. that daunting. And also yeah. one of the most like valuable things you can do is love your like your own yes. time yeah. with yourself. Oh like, my gosh. I think another person should add to that, not yeah. be like yeah. your whole happiness in life. It leads you to finding the right relationship. It does because you're not trying to fill holes exactly. that you felt like were missing. And you think like, well, my life's pretty good as it yeah. is. Yeah. So, so unless adding. you're adding mm. a lot, then yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, then it's not worth it. Unless you're slotting right in and making my life better. I don't mm. want it. I love that. Yeah. Sure. Another good one? Yes. Really. Yeah. Yes, good luck. Okay, you ready? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Tinder trouble. Okay. <gasps> oh, Ooh. we're Tinder professionals over here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hope you can help me. Hi, girls. I was with my boyfriend, now ex, for two and a half years. The start of the relationship was pure bliss, and I thought he was my soulmate. Maybe six months into the relationship, he continuously repeated certain behaviors that you just wouldn't do in a relationship. Mm-hmm. On the odd occasion, he would message girls. Ew. Mm-hmm. He's danced with a girl in front of me on a <gasps> night out before. Ew. Oh, instant dumping. And even messaged his two exes. Okay, yeah. right. but this is her right. ex but this is a thank really god so okay. after finding out all of this I constantly gave him chance upon chance to change and forgive him although the trust has already been broken oh. skip by um, to a couple of months later where we had just celebrated our one year anniversary it was my sister's birthday and we had a party at home he got blackout drunk oh, yeah from drinking a whole bottle of vodka, which was so unlike him, skipping to the end of the night where we both were in bed and I had woken up to a gut feeling to check his phone. So I did. (gasps) The gut feeling (gasps) never lies. The gut. To which I found Tinder downloaded on his phone. So I clicked on it and turns out he had got a Tinder account in which he was messaging girls really inappropriate messages. The messages he sent didn't even sound like him as he would (gasps) never say the kind of things he was saying to me. You've got a girlfriend, matey. Yeah. Re- rain it oh. in. Let's rewind to a few days prior where he sat me down and told me that he was really happy with where we were in our relationship. Why oh my God, how scary this? is that? 
he, manipulation. He, yeah. It's, manip- it's pure it manipulation. Is. He thought we were better than ever and that he wanted to be with me forever and couldn't imagine being with anybody else. Overcompensating, Overcompensating for bad behavior. Covering his tracks, feeling guilty. That's why when, if you're not used to getting flowers and you suddenly receive flowers. You should be worried. You should be worried, for sure. <laughs> All while talking to girls on Tinder. I've honestly never felt betrayal like it and wasn't sure if I could forgive him for it. I'm an overthinker and really sensitive girl, so this really threw me off. Skipped to a whole month later where I stupidly ended up forgiving him and we tried again. Oh, Oh, it's fine. It's okay with being there. It's Mm. fine. Uh, With the trust being broken, I find it really tricky when I wasn't with him as I was unsure whether he was messaging girls or the relationship never felt the same and we very rarely had sex. I knew that I still loved him even after the way he had treated me. Skipped to last November. Okay. And we were still together. Oh, fucking hell. But constantly having blips and arguments, I'd recently had a new car and he was fitting the dash cam for me. Oh, here we go. He'd left his phone on my kitchen table and again, I had a gut feeling to check. Again, what did I find? Tinder. Oh my God. This time- He loves it. He lives for it. What is his fucking problem? This time, I bet he pays for the premium and all sorts. This time, just an account that was previously made, but no messages. After questioning him about it, he continued to tell me that it was from last time. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Just a liar. It, you freak. But I didn't believe him. I'd, he'd had Tinder, a Tinder code sent to his messages during that week. Oh, she's a detective. Yeah. She knew what she did. He honestly yes. made me feel like I had gone crazy. Yeah, it's Gas the back and forth and the gaslighting. So again, I forgave him as, oh, oh, poor girl. As he told me, I'd got nothing to worry about. It wasn't until the start of this year where I ended the relationship. Oh, well thank God. Woo, 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 woo. Proud oh. of you, very proud of you. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah. As all my trust had completely yeah. gone. Yeah. He too still much. says that he wants me back. Well, too little, oh, too no late. No way. You God. Yeah, you ruin your chance. And that he has changed. He will never change. No. No. I mean, he's given you like 17 yes. chances. Unless he's it's said, been 10 yeah. years, he hasn't it, changed. Yeah. And he said this before. However, I just want to protect my own heart from getting broken again. Yeah. Yeah. I know I still love him and can't imagine being with anybody else. You will. You can imagine it. You, yeah. you will. Try hard. You can and you will. You can. But I almost feel like I'm the problem. No! That's the gaslighting oh, and no. the manipulation. You were never the problem. Oh, my goodness. You were never the problem. No, no, that's not true. You were never the problem. And it's all my fault that this happened. No, no, no. That's oh, the no. gaslighting. That's. But I almost feel like it's my fault that this happened. We still talk on and off. And oh, I've no. seen him a couple of times. No, no, no. I know deep down we can't be together, but I can't help but feel like I won't ever love anybody else the same. I'm so fucked up. Any advice would be welcome. Thank you so much. Right. You need to block him immediately. Immediately. I'm not even joking. Like, this is tough love we're about to give you now. You need to block this man immediately. He's no good. He's never going to change. He's He's poison. He's poison. He's poisoned your life. He's poisoned your brain. The fact that you think it's your fault, that's literal poison to your brain. Yeah. Like, he fucked up. It was his wrongdoing. He cheated on you multiple times. Yeah. He had Tinder and tried to gaslight you. I would, like, I would take comfort in it's quite normal when you're not the one initiating the breakup or when you're going for a breakup, it's like, can't imagine myself with anyone else. Like, yeah. that's, that's so that's normal. A, that's a normal initial response. To feel response. that way, yeah. to be like, oh, I can't imagine my life without you. Well, yeah, because you've been fucking in it for yeah. four and a half yeah. years or however yeah. long. It doesn't mean that this is the universe telling you this is the love of your no. life. Yes. No, no, no. That's a normal breakup response to like yeah. not yeah. be sure about what is the yeah. future is or not being able to picture yeah. it or whatever. Yeah, and I think it's, no contact needs to happen no because contact. the way no that contact. he thinks he can still have access to you, he needs no access to you. He doesn't deserve access no. to you. What's that quote that we love? The universe will keep giving you the same lesson over and over yeah. again until you learn it. Well, that was and like that's exactly what's happening. Four, five, six things. Like yeah. the first red flag would have been yeah. enough. But yeah, yeah. And you need having to... trust in that person. You right? Kept going exactly. Back, but... You need to realize like you can never trust this guy again. No. It's never going to work out. He n- does not deserve any ounce of your time. No. He does not deserve you at all. He doesn't respect you. He doesn't, he doesn't respect love you. you. The love of your life would not treat you no. this yeah. way. Like the remember. person you are meant to be with for the rest of your life will not treat you like this. And they're waiting for they're you. They're waiting exactly. for you. On the other side of this decision that you need to make. Yeah, once you've blocked this you can Twats. only do it with the block though. Yeah. Only you can only do it with the block. And it might be hard, but you've just got to do it. Because it's out of sight, out yeah. of mind. Mm, totally. And like yeah. if I see your name like typing or up, it's yeah. like you're there. It's like, oh my you're, God, you're constantly there, yeah. reminded. Or I'm seeing your stories, you're there, you're there. It's like yeah. I need to forget you exist. Yeah. And yeah. I'm only gonna do that if I block you and delete these messages. Mm. So I'm not looking back at them and delete these photos and And the fact that he still has access to you, like in terms of messaging wise. 
you need to, he needs to not have that access. No. He needs to get that message. Like you've blown it, matey. Like that. Matey? Yeah, matey. That was your last chance, <laughs> mate. Yeah, and mate. Cause like, you can't treat me like this yeah. anymore. And I've, yeah. I've realized that. And then- and Don't give him an explanation, just do it. Yeah. You do not need to give him any single ounce of no, anything else no of paragraph. you. <laughs> you block him. You, Silence. You get your friends on your side, mm -hmm. and then we need to go into our healing era like the lady exactly. previous. And rally the troops. And rally the troops, and focus on what you like to do. Mm -hmm. And then, like Soph said, the universe has the m most incredible it's things waiting, waiting for you. It's just waiting for you to block this guy. Yeah. yeah. And you have and to then worry then they're not gonna find again. someone like him, because you shouldn't want to find someone like him. No, he doesn't sound like a very nice guy. Not. But also, this is so valuable, because now you know what you don't want. Everything else very sweet. I know. Oh, I feel bad for her. I know I She's gonna, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. And you're gonna be stronger because of it. You're exactly. gonna be, you're gonna have, oh. Play Stronger by Britney Spears. Yes. <laughs> there we go, hit it. Hit it. Right, Ooh, that's oh, that's not my phone. Yeah, get angry at this easy. guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, again. Stop. Best friend in my boyfriend's DMs. No, instantly no. Oh, this one's hilarious. <gasps> Okay, so for context, I've been with my boyfriend, Brian, for a year and a half now, and my best friend, Susan, has been with her boyfriend for over two years. I've obviously known her boyfriend from since when I was single, and I've never gone out of my way to message him separately, apart from on one occasion when I wanted to surprise Susan. I needed to let him know. Mm -hmm. Also, just a side note, when I originally followed her boyfriend on Instagram, I was single. I asked her if I could do it, so while I was sat in front of her, and she got slightly worried about it, but said I could do it if I wanted to, so I did. So that like they were dating, like her friend and this boy were dating, and she was like, "Can I follow him?" And she was like, right. "Yeah," but she was weird about it. Yeah. Okay. But I assume she only wanted to follow him because yeah, it was she's friend. the best friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Since I've been with my Brian, Susan and Brian have only met around three or four times because Susan doesn't live near us. Okay. And after the first meet, she followed him on Instagram. Brackets. I did note she didn't ask me like I asked her but I didn't think much of it. My boyfriend let me know at the time and obviously I was like, oh, nice, follow her back. Uh, she's one of my best friends. Yeah. Ever since then, she has occasionally popped up in his DMs on Instagram, but never mentioning this to me. Usually replying to one of his stories, either laughing if it's something funny or just making a general comment. Okay. My That's boyfriend fine. lets me know yeah. every time and has actually ignored some of her messages on occasion because he also finds it a bit odd okay. as he's not met her that many times and he also wouldn't message his friend's girlfriends randomly. Maybe my expectations are a bit high, but I just think basic girl code is that you don't slide into your friend's boyfriend's DMs. <laughs> I think given the context, they've also not met that many times. And the fact that I don't do the same makes it weirder. Am I overthinking this or should I maybe speak to her about it? I do think it's harmless, but I just find it a bit odd. I also don't want to make things weird with her slash come across as really insecure. I re I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I don't think that's bad. I would very happily, I've met Jack once, I would happily reply to a story and be like, oh, cute, or like, oh, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like, and, it's so Unless harmless. there's a message you've seen that's pushing, exactly. crossing the line. Yeah, as I long as it's like just humor or like reacting. To reacting yeah. to it's probably something. of you as well. It's probably a yeah. story of you doing something. I think this speaks more about how you see your friend. friends yeah like that you don't trust them yeah, yeah because I just think the fact like, asking I think... to follow as well and then being with and her being and then being weirded out yeah. by it you're kind of do you know that her intentions aren't pure yeah has she done something in the past? yeah that's yeah. Nice giving. i think for your best friend to follow your boyfriend and for that to give you like oh that's weird like yeah. for you to have that yes. reaction i think some Someone's not right. She might there. just be wanting to build the relationship, which is normal. Yeah, yeah. which is so normal. Amongst best friends. Yeah. Wanting to get I think to know I feel like you don't trust your best friend. Well, no. with, within a healthy friendship, best friendship, you're gonna follow each other's boyfriends yeah. and it's yeah. holy. I wouldn't even ask. I would just do it. Right. But yeah. I don't think and I, it's oh, not actually, like, I would want my yeah. my girlfriends to have good relationships exactly. with my boyfriends. Exactly. It's purely yeah. yeah. friend vibes. Like second but guessing their intentions. No. She may have done something in the past. I, I reckon, think that's planted a seed of doubt within this friend and trusting her. So maybe, yeah, you need to let, 
you maybe need it's to, more about the friendship. Yeah. yeah, so maybe you need to say something to your friends. Yeah, mm. but on a ge- like generally, I think unless you see something that feels like it's crossing a line or yeah. inappropriate, I don't think. You put I mean, the good thing is, about. is that your boyfriend's really open yeah. and lets yeah. you know every time. So, oh, I heard from Sarah. Every today. time she messages you, yeah. so it's not like anything sneaky and is you're going both on. In relationship. She's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Surely, yeah. I think maybe, maybe monitor a it. Date or something. Yeah, see the dynamic as well. Let her get to know him, and then unless something inappropriate does crop up then you can like intervene and be like whoa well, listen here yeah. woman i know what i know what you're, <laughs> yeah, you're going listen here, lady <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah generally speaking it, it should be pl- purely innocent but mm. her gut feeling is saying something's going on here so i trust that yeah and maybe it's your friend that you can't trust mm. right yeah. i think so yeah I think so. I'm Ooh. a sucker for an Instagram reaction. I know, me too. I'm like a bit the biggest cheerleader. So everyone, people yeah. that I don't even know, I'll just react. So to me, I'm like, oh, yeah. is that people thinking I'm yeah. flirting with them now? So maybe but that's what her friend's just like. Yeah. She just replies to everything. So people yeah. are like, yeah. I like that. Yeah. But yeah, just before we wrap up, let's go through one thing we're all loving this week, Chintia. It has to be my purple Stanley. I really love it. The comfort Stanley. It is actually, it, it, it's like a pillow to me. It, it like comforts me. Like I have to have it I near. I love the purple. Otherwise I panic. It's, that is a very nice color. Uh, so Lost without it. Like, I, I hug it like this. Like when I'm at home as well. That is my I got obsession. us these things from Amazon. These sticky. Yes, we, we both have them. The and Yours I can't live without though. them. And yeah. they're so, these ones are particular. Just yeah, so good. Octo buddy. Yeah. yeah, we've all got them. I, I can't yours. live without Ooh. them. They're life changing. They, they are, are life changing. Yeah. Stick them on the car. Wait, you stick them anywhere. Yeah. The yeah. And there's just so In handy. the bath, I stick it on the wall in the yeah. bath. Watch a video. Oh, watch something. Play, play music. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's a bit risky in the bath and I the shower. I stick it on the bathroom mirror when I'm like brushing my teeth. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I did that with drying. I was straightening my hair, had it up on the mirror, just watching a vlog. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's really good. What are you loving, Sat? I am loving, you know, I love my lip products. I know that. There's a new one from Rimmel called the Oh My Gloss and they've got it in four shades and they are just amazing. Like they've got, they always do good flavors. Mm, they've got nice. like a watermelon. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, But yeah, it's it's more of a lip oil. So it's like a very subtle tint. Oh, I love an oil. Yeah. We so really love nice. a, a subtle oil. And there's also a clear one. So actually, if you want something really subtle, you mm-hmm. don't want a tint. It's perfect. You can like layer it over lip liner. Oh, no nice. makeup days. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good one. And it's so affordable. I think it's $8.99. Brilliant. Yeah. Days, what are you loving? I actually, so I find with my hair, it's quite thin. A curling one doesn't really hold. Mm. So I have moved over to the straighteners mm. to give a bit of a wave each yeah, morning. Like that beachy. Oh, so you're curling with a straight yeah, exactly. wow. That's and a skill. And that it's changed skill. It's changed the game because it actually holds. What do you Ooh. use? So I'm using the GHD Platinum Hair Straighteners. They're also a really gorgeous colour and they come Ooh. in a really cute box. But um, Such a good investment, I feel like. You have those you will, for 10 years. You will. You're like, they you won't break on you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so that has, for anyone that struggles, like, put, that puts a curl in and it just drops, try the straightener yeah, hack because really. actually yeah. it holds. Amazing. Yeah, TikTok it. TikTok. It's a thank skill. You ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank, oh, thank you for having you. us. We've had the best time. It's been great. It's been so funny. And your set is so cute and pink so and cute. comfy yeah. and the sofa is so cute. Yeah. Comfy. I know, it's very, I could genuinely fall asleep here, but thank you guys so much. Oh, thank, thank you for you having us. We had such a lovely time. And we'll see you next week. Yeah.